Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocco here and in today's video we're going to talk about why Wall Street is bullish on Bitcoin. We're going to watch an interview Tom Lee did on CNBC to make a case for why Wall Street is bullish on Bitcoin and we're going to tackle these three things that people say of why they're bearish on Bitcoin. So Google searches are down, trading volume is down and the price is stuck below 10k. So hopefully this positive outlook of the market will make you feel better in this market, in the cryptocurrency market that we're in now. The market is crashing. There's a lot of negative news. So hopefully this video will make you feel slightly better about your Bitcoin investments. Before I get into this video, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please scroll down and subscribe to my channel. I do videos on cryptocurrencies, trading signals, breaking news, the whole lot. So thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Leading indicator for for Bitcoin. I think it's actually a coincident indicator, meaning as the price has fallen, I think interest has dwindled, but I don't view that as signaling Bitcoin's not going to recover by the end of the year. So that's a good point. People, I mean, I don't know why people say that this is such a indicator for prices going up. The way I think it works is when people, when Bitcoin price go up, there's other everyone's talking about Bitcoin. You hear your mates talking about Bitcoin. You want to Google and find out more about it. Um, also, a lot of people know about Bitcoin now, so they probably Google less. So it shouldn't be a massive impact. I don't think it's a big enough signal. Um, so it's not a very strong point, according to my my thinking and the reasoning that I've just given. So the second point, let's see what Tom Lee's got to say about Bitcoin volume being down. percent But you have to remember, December was the parabolic blow-off for Bitcoin. And compared to just the second half of last year, Bitcoin volumes are up 40%. Right, so tr volume being low is not the best indicator, but you've just heard what Tom Lee said. If you if you look, take a step back and look at the overall picture, I know it's, it's low compared to December, January, which was just crazy levels. It's still up massively from a year before, so we shouldn't take it take that too seriously. And it only takes some good news. And I'll, I'll talk about the next point, the third point, why the Bitcoin price being below $10, $10,000, uh, $10, because once it goes up, you'll see volume coming in, you'll see Google searches, you'll see the whole lot. So let's see what Tom Lee's got to say. This is the final point that I wanted to share with you guys. Chart, and I think there was some uncertainty on regulatory overhang, but you have to keep in mind, Bitcoin makes all of its performance in 10 days in any year. Right, so he made really two two really good points. The first one is regulatory uncertainty. I believe that is what's stopping institution, institutional money to come in because these investors want regulatory certainty before they invest their money. So that is what's kind of been hesitating people from investing. But I, I believe money will come in when there's regulatory certainty. It's difficult to predict when it will come in. And what the point that Tom Lee just made at the end was that it only takes 10 days for Bitcoin to recover and make those parabolic bull runs. So we shouldn't be too much worried. And, and if you're selling and if you don't huddle Bitcoin during those 10 days, you'll be missing out massively. So Bitcoin, if it goes on that bull run, guys, this year, it can easily go back to the levels and recover by end of this year. So let's have a quick look at the market. To be honest, guys, the market is not looking pretty, so I'm not really going to talk about it. Most coins are down. Some of my long-term pegs that I really like are down as well. So, I mean, there's not really much to talk about. It's just there's been a lot of negative news, regulatory uncertainty, FUD from South Korea and uh, exchanges. Um, there's also some rumors about the the fair play of trading and and every, all the negative news that's been going on the price is crashing so but one thing that i'd like to say guys is i see people buying bitcoin when prices are going up and selling when the prices are going down that should not be the case and um, john mcafee i mean i don't really want to comment on his <laughs> on his um credibility but if you uh, or, or his personality but he made a good point here like it's an overreaction to the Bitstamp, Coinbase, price manipulation and, and trading policy, uh, trading fair play. And this will delay the bull market by no more than 30 days. So if you believe in Bitcoin, guys, I'd say hodl uh, long term. If you don't believe in Bitcoin, if you don't understand blockchain, then I'd say do not invest. But if you believe in Bitcoin, um, I'd say invest gradually and hodl and it should pay off well. Guys, if you don't follow me on Twitter, guys, it's crypt it rocks crypto at Twitter, and I post breaking news updates. Just like to interact with the people. And one thing that I, one last thing I wanted to share in this video was 
buy when there's blood in the streets, even if the blood is your own. So Baron Rothschild made, made this comment, and it's so true, guys. We should be investing when people are selling and get it in cheap price, not invest when the price is just going up. So if you believe in Bitcoin long term, I would say gradually start investing, dollar cost averaging. Um, but again, do your own research. Do not just listen to me and invest in this video. I'd like to show... Um, and with this really good clip that I want to show you guys where it talks about Bitcoin's kind of uh, te technological capability and, and this if you if you believe in Bitcoin or if you want to understand more about Bitcoin this little clip will help you it's a great store value it's it's I think it works really well in terms of you know digital transactions and I think it's a great example of security I mean in, in 10 years not a single person has entered a fraudulent entry on the blockchain. You know. Boom. So I mean, if if you just want to make quick money from Bitcoin again, it could even take longer than a year to recover, guys, because no one knows what's going to happen, how long this regulatory uncertainty is going to go on. But long term, guys, Wall Street is preparing to put their money in. There's loads of news about Coinbase and and George Soros and loads of other Wall Street big big institutional money. Uh, they're preparing to come into Bitcoin. So it might not be tomorrow, it might not be next week, but if you believe in Bitcoin longer term, guys, the money is coming in and the price will be going up. That is just my prediction, guys. But please do your own research before investing your hard-earned money. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, guys, please scroll down and subscribe to my channel. I do videos on Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, technical analysis, price predictions, breaking news, the whole lot to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of crypto money. So smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Please subscribe and see you guys soon.